morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for uh, Wednesday's trading, the 2nd November 2016. Be sure to visit www.cfds.com. Also visit Trade Signal for signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, US markets, it certainly seemed to be a Trump-led risk aversion uh, totally, well, certainly globally at present. Okay, so again, and given the polls yesterday, it certainly seems to have scared a lot of investors off. Although, one needs to uh, question whether or not um, Mr. Trump's ability uh, or possibility of winning the uh, the uh, the actual uh, White House was already factored into the market. I mean, the markets, uh, the market participants already knew that a, a, an early exit poll or an early poll certainly wouldn't swing the market that violently. So. Again, whether or not it's uh, due to the uh, election uncertainty approaching and the market certainly uh, going into a risk aversion mode, that certainly is one factor. Uh, also, with regards to economic data yesterday as well, the US data certainly was did actually come in quite strong. So, uh, again, it's um, it's very, certainly strange whether or not it's they're using the uh, the US election as a uh, an excuse, and the the real reason is the potential FOMC today. That again is a, certainly another possibility. So, again. Uh, all possibilities certainly on the table, especially given the fact that uh, Chinese data certainly came out stronger yesterday as well. Uh, Chinese CACs in and manufacturing data certainly came in on the stronger side, thereby alleviating in global growth concerns. Okay, so uh, and US data certainly came in stronger as well. We've had stronger employment data or, or overnight from New Zealand. So certainly there seems to be a, a number of reasons. Now, the other factor as well is the fact that the dollar index has, has certainly sold off. And thereby sending the euro USD higher. So if I bring up the chart, the euro USD, you'll be able to see the euro USD certainly has been screaming higher. Now it is actually testing previous support equals resistance at 1.11. Uh, you got 1.1120. That's going to be a key resistance zone for the euro USD. If you bring up the Fibonacci retracement, take the pivot high to the pivot low, and you are into that Fib 650%. Sorry, into that Fib 50%, and then 61% is at the 1.1110. So if you do get to 1.1110, I'll certainly uh, more than happy to short you. I've attempted to short this morning and have certainly been stopped out. Okay, so in terms of the euro, that is the resistance zone, and therefore you are looking at, at a risk on move in equity markets based on the euro USD obviously being into uh, resistance. Okay, so again, euro USD is quite important. The other factor here for European indices is uh, the uh, sterling. Uh, sterling certainly is coming into resistance now. If I bring up the 60-minute chart, you can see that uh, we certainly are into resistance here. Okay, so double top resistance from sterling at 1.1228. Okay, so post Mr. Carney's uh, confirmation that he'll stay on till 2019 certainly has helped sterling to a large extent. Now, this morning, economic data-wise, Asian markets, first of all, certainly are negative overnight. As, we, as one would expect, given the uh, U.S. market sell-off. Now, uh, the European data this morning certainly has come out stronger than expected, thereby negating, negating the uh, the actual uh, bearish news from the U.S. market. So, you've had uh, this morning in terms of uh, unemployment data certainly stronger than expected. Uh, German employment, okay, and uh, PMI data, market the. Uh, PMI data are certainly coming in uh, on the uh, stronger side as well. So Germany in nine, Euro EU, uh, EU PMI certainly coming in slightly stronger, whilst the uh, the French as well certainly coming in stronger as well. So like I said, multiple reasons for the markets to negate. Also the UK uh, PMI construction data certainly come out stronger than expected. So you are looking for multiple reasons here to actually trigger a short squeeze. That's the conclusion. Okay. So uh, from my perspective, I'm certainly biased long and uh, looking for a short squeeze higher. OK, uh, from my perspective, the bearish news from the uh, US election and certainty, etc. certainly has been factored into a large extent. And you can certainly see this from a technical perspective. The daily chart of the German DAX at the moment is into gap fill. So you are into gap fill here. Also, the 60 minute chart of the HNS formation, the German DAX certainly has uh, transpired and materialized and you're into gap fill on the uh, on the 60 minute chart. So therefore, you are looking for a short squeeze. French CAC, go to the daily chart of the French CAC. Let's just have a look here. And you're into that doji candle. Okay, Fib 75%. Okay, so looking for a pop here. You've certainly gapped lower to a large extent. Close the gap there as well. And you are now looking for a pop on the French CAC. Okay. 
FTSE 100 lets us bring this up for you. Let's go to a daily chart first of all. Daily chart certainly a slightly worrying sign given the fact that uh, we've actually uh, broken above the uh, key uh, resistance equal support zone. So again, certainly a cause for concern. Okay. The daily chart at the moment, you are holding that Fib 50 to 61, or I should say 61.75%. And given the fact that um, Sterling is a potential double top, also with regards to oil, you certainly have oil coming into potential support now as well. If I bring up a chart of uh, Brent. Bear with me. Okay, well, I don't have Brent at the moment. I've certainly got the um, US crude, and you are certainly slamming into that 200 MA. So you're certainly looking to pop here, given the fact that you've paced the 200 MA on the uh, on the actual uh, price of crude oil. And Brent certainly is into support as well. So FTSE 100, certainly looking for a bottoming tail here, starting to reverse or look for a potential reversal. Any reversal will be capped at 6920, um, 6930, so certainly keep an eye on there. If oil prices really start to move higher, then the FTSE will crack that 6930 zone as well. 10 minute chart, you're basically just consolidating here for the next potential move. Last but not least is the Euro stocks. Okay, Euro stocks daily at the more 60 minute chart, HS formation complete, and now looking for the market to certainly short squeeze. Okay, and uh, the 10 minute chart certainly has an unfilled gap here at uh, 3025. And that would be the potential target, 3025 on the euro stocks. Okay, folks. Okay, so again, keep an eye on the euro, certain euro into resistance, looking for a reversal now, and therefore looking for the weaker euro to help European exports. So European exports and European equities to move higher. On that note, wish you farewell. Be, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.